So here, new project. Pretty much the same street as we're always in, isn't it? Yeah. These are our bricks. Carlton Heathers. Good brick then. 73 mil. Because it's an older house. We've been here twice before. There's, we've done the lintel on the back and they've done uh, we did the steels this is the one where it's all covered up for the steels. So this is our job today. Well to start today. It's a small utility. Customer dug this one out for us, made a lovely job of it, dropped the floor down. That's a gas main. So I'm gonna cut the concrete either side of that so it's not in the concrete. Um, that's the supply to the shed. We're going to cut the DPC in, the vertical DPC, get loaded out. Same again, vertical DPC. We've got a, a vent to pipe through there. So we're going to take this vent off, put it in this wall, put a pipe through under the floor. We went to Berries yesterday and picked up the jab light for the floor and the cavity insulation for the walls. Everything else is getting delivered today. Soon, hopefully. Uh, yeah, pretty standard really. No door in it, just a window. So it's going to be block work first. Going up. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So for now we can just get it set out, marked out, get it loaded, and then see where we are from there. Oh yeah, there's the ties. Do you want to grab us a tie at all? <coughs> Pick these up from screw fix. <coughs> <coughs> Bag of hundred plugs. The nose. Pretty wide, but we uh, you can bend them. So bang on them. A lot easier to screw in than the bluebirds as well. Yeah. I can do them, which means anyone can do them. <laughs> Right, so let's get cracking. Let's just um, check the place the bond in first. Passes them all. This gives us our measurements. On the, uh, on the bench. Do you need one, two more? Two more? Yeah. We've got a tape out. Uh, no, we'll grab one. Are you gloves on? I've been using those, let's take them off. So break to a half. Yeah. A bit uh, tight on the top of the book. That's um Let's check it. Take them and check it. What's um? Is it brick from the get-go? Brick straight off. Brick straight off. Yeah. <coughs> so that's our measurement. Yep. One one five zero. One one five zero. So one one five zero per minute. Is it one one five zero? Yeah. Projection one one five zero, which works one two three four five brick. 
Now we're going to get our wits and then we're going to work out the diagonal. Squared, which is 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, We haven't got an exact measurement for the width, so we're going to go for brick size and then brick by half. So we're going to trace the bond out. We've got 2.6 to play with, we're going to see what the brick bond works out at. Is that pointed at us, right? Yeah. Mate, it's probably not on it. <laughs> oh, I've got it's not such a bad thing. I want a bit big brother. Because that brick to half as well went well. Let's see what that measures. You got your tape. <laughs> Two six twenty. Two six twenty was that, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So two point six two zero. Squared. Squared. The six point eight six blah blah blah. Plus. So you add that to your, your side number. What's that big number there? Let's see if we can read you up here. One three two two five. Because so that's eight point one eight six nine. So now to get your diagonal, you, you square root it. Pythagoras. So it's two point eight. Two, two meters eight hundred and sixty one. Two meters eight hundred and sixty one. That's the only thing from school that I st that I still use. Yeah. A squared plus b squared is c squared. That's right. There's our diagonal. Two eight six one. Right now you write down. <coughs> What's the diagonal? Two eight six one. Yep. Why couldn't all foundations set up that easy? No. There you go, set out. <laughs> Projection 1150, width 2620. And then we've got the diagonal thing. So now we can get, get, uh, get loaded out.
Right, that's us, brew time now, we're all loaded. That's this end loaded, plus what's going on the scaffold, because we're gonna have a little half pike lean to roof at either end. Yeah, pretty much it. Five course of face brick off the concrete. The uh, I'll just put a picture in of the, uh, the dig, a nice dig. And I think there must be a good 450 of concrete in there. Maybe even more. There's a cube, over a cube gone in. Yeah, so that's us, all set. And the ferrets have been and brought all the rest of the gear, so we can just crack on today. We'll get it up to damp, ready for slab, and then we'll probably just carry on with this wall, take this wall up, take the face work up on this end. Just give it a bit of a head start. And then we're mixing our own concrete for the slab. And then, so we can do that tomorrow, maybe Saturday, see what the weather's like. And then once we've slabbed it, we can carry on. And then we'll probably leave here. We'll probably leave a, a bit of a V out in the brickwork here because this is where the window's going, about here. So we need access, obviously, because we're not doing the brick down until the roof's on. I think customers are doing that themselves. So go and get a brew anyway. Right, got our outside face marked. We're going to come in a hundred and a bit. Then we're going to do this, put our cut in so they basically the DPC that goes slots in, which we don't see the point of putting it in, but a lot of people seem to think we need to put them in both sides. So we're going to time lapse the cutting. Finish putting the marks on as well for the internal wall as well. You. What do you mean after me? I, I, I'm still mixing. I thought you were taking the mortar. I thought you were taking it. No, I'm filming you. Carry on. Oh, you're a real hero. Yeah, thank you. I can't do it, you have to do it for me. Come on, I'll tell it you can. <laughs> I'm, hey, I feel like the blue paparazzi here, you know. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Where do you want it? On there, please. It's not the best one, but uh, it's magic. Took it out so I can. Uh, it's magic. It's magic. It's magic. Right, ready to ready to rock and roll. Here's our mark back in back in the dust. Vertical DPC cut in as high as I can reach. Now, DPC's here. You can see. When we get to the vents, it goes up and over. So I'm pretty sure floor level is going to be up this area. So we're going to put our DPC at this height. So it's five to damp, which should be five block. Uh, sorry, two courses a block, hopefully. That's usually what it works out with Imperial Brick. This uh, bit's not big
Six gauge, chapter 87, 174. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not right. I know I'm not. Well, how to check if you're high or low then? This is low, my five mil. Is it? Yeah. I need to pick it up. So now you can actually level off your... Be careful picking it up though, because um, the motor is off that quick. You might get too quick. Yeah. Actually, best, best bet is put your very first corner brick on. Level that now from the house. Yeah. Be very careful with it. Hey? I think that looks right. The bumper stopped me from getting a proper reading. The what? The bumper stopped me getting a proper reading. Yeah. But it, mm, it looks alright. <laughs> Do you want to turn my, turn my Coke Zero? Van is halfway down that street. What is? That van you can hear? Yeah? Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm going against the house now. What do you mean? I'm, my brickwork's going like it's level with the house. Yeah, don't take them both out. Look, I was doing that, picking up both up 10 mil at a key on level. Yeah. So is it, if, if I Checking your um, one one fifty as well. That's the house.
that's one end that's down. Alex is resting that gas pipe. And it's rock hard, these the bricks are so dry. He's jointing up almost every course. Get in there. Get start running in, in a bit. That's one end up to damp. Alex is resting that gas pipe. And it's rock hard, these the bricks are so dry. He's jointing up almost every course. Get in there. Get start running in, in a bit. That's it, all sorted. That's damp course level, floor level, floor level ish. We'll see when we bust through to find where the level is. And then we're going to be concreting this ourselves with the mixer. So that's it, I've cut the lunch now and then get it leveled up. Get it up to DPC today because I've got to go off and get my COVID injection this afternoon. I never thought I'd be glad to be having an injection, but I am today. So yeah, leave it there. Right, Alex is just getting half a mix in. Down there. I'm going to concentrate on the block work now. Start running that round. It's going to be two tight courses and then Alex is going to get this front running. And then if anything left over, I'm just going to just run a corner out here. Just to use the mortar up. Because it's all ready for profiles now. Uh, yeah, so that's it for now. I'll go back to time lapse.
Right, uh, 25 to 3. You've got it the right way up. Uh, yeah, that's going out tonight, that. Yeah, Alex, so tidied all up. We're going to use the mixing half today, so we're going to cover up now. Oh, you... Just before you do that, can I cover the sand up with the board? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just, we can always use that plastic that's by the bricks for the um, the it's blocks. The bricks. All right. Oh, the fence panels. Use one of them. Okay. Anyway, back to it. Quick update. I've just had to nip off to um, screw fix to pick up a couple of events. We're not putting the periscopes in, we're just going to put the vents in there. And what I've done is, I'm going to pipe from under the vent. Obviously, it's to vent the floor, so we're going to put a 4 inch pipe in straight across. And that's going to vent into the cavity. And then we're going to put the air brick in there, top course. Same here, I just need to cut that out before we go. And then, um, so obviously, that's going to be, we're putting two pipes in, there's only one. We're only covering one vent, not one and a half vents. So we're putting two vents in to make sure it's well vented, ventilated. And then plastic vents on the top. Then these these vents are gonna vent all this cavity because this is all gonna be open. Insulation starts there. So you've got all this open, then you've got two pipes, so that's plenty. Um, we've cut round, cut round the gas pipe so we're not sat on it. That's all clear. Same there. So the plan now is get the rest of these face brick on and maybe put a bit of a corner up to use the mortar up and probably fill the holes up. Ready to put the damp on. But tomorrow is backfill to here. Hardcore. And then it's insulation 125, then it's 100 mil slab, and we're going to mix the concrete ourselves. So this this armored cable is going to be all going to be under the floor. So it comes comes out there behind the blocks, under there, and then pops back up there. Right, let's get it get it finished and get packed up. Back going? Yeah, I'll get it going. All these bits of broken brick are to stay in here. Oh, yeah. Three spin more, just toss them through, I think. I was going to throw it down between the cavities, just to strengthen that. Oh, whatever, yeah. 